Hi, I'm Jan. I'm a camp host with the New Mexico State Park System, and I'm making my first video today. I'm going to be making a bison pot roast in the Instant Pot. The bison I'm going to be cooking is from the Honest Bison Company, and this, this is a bison chuck roast. It's between two and two and a half pounds. And uh, bison is organic. They cannot use any kind of antibiotics or any kind of chemicals on the bison. So it's a very healthy meat. Bison is also very lean, so it has to be cooked low and slow. The bison came to me very well packed in biodegradable uh, packing. The insulation was not styrofoam, which is a big plus for me because I try to go organic and as environmentally friendly as I can. It's uh, packed in really good thick um, insulation that you can just throw in your compost pile. So the recipe I'm using today, I've gotten ideas from several different uh, recipes. Um, I'm going to cook it just like a beef by, uh, beef roast. But because I'm also in New Mexico, I'm at altitude. I'm at about 4,800 feet, which is going to increase the cooking time for every 1,000 feet you go up in altitude, you need to increase your cooking time by 5%. According to, according to the directions to cook bison, you want to cook it for 20 minutes per pound. So being that this is, we're going to say it's two and a half pounds, we're going to cook it for 40 minutes. Then I'm going to do a 10 minute natural release and then do a full release afterwards. Okay, these are my ingredients. I have a six quart Instant Pot. I've got a pound of carrots. I have a pound of, I've got three large baker potatoes. They're russets. I have a full bunch of celery with the leaves and two large onions. I'm also going to be adding organic beef stock, salt, pepper, fresh ground pepper, uh, Worcestershire sauce, thyme, and rosemary. I'm also going to be adding uh, salt-free seasoning, which is organic also, and I'll be adding a little garlic cilantro balsamic vinegar from the Durango Olive Oil Company. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put organic avocado oil. See that really lovely dark brown on that? roast. That's going to give really excellent flavor. And it only takes about three or four minutes to sear it. It's also, the searing is also going to seal in the juices and keep it really tender. Bison is a very lean game meat, so consequently you have to take care with it so that it doesn't get, so it doesn't turn into shoe leather. Okay, that is done searing. We're going to take it out and put it on a plate. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw in our onions and our celery. And I always end up getting carried away with how much I put into my pot. So we're going to stir that around. There's going to be some moisture that comes out of it. And that's going to help clean the, clean the brown off the pot. 
Now I'm adding about a cup and a half to two cups of beef stock. And this is going to make some really, really nice gravy. So I'm going to stir this around and get all the brown bits off because that brown is what's going to make your nice dark gravy. Now here I'm going to add my no salt organic seasoning. And I like to be generous with this. I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. It's going to make the gravy even richer. Okay, and now I'm adding about a teaspoonful of rosemary and about a teaspoonful of thyme. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some garlic onto the bison that we've already seared. I'm also going to sprinkle salt on the bison and some freshly ground pepper. I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the trivet in the pot and I'm going to put the bison on the trivet. Okay, so we've moved outside because I can't cook this inside the trailer. Uh, it's too much steam. So, and I forgot a couple of things that I was going to put on it. This is uh, garlic cilantro uh, balsamic vinegar and we're just going to drizzle some over the top that's going to give it a nice dark brown color okay and then we're going to pour the horseradish on it and this is prepared horseradish. You do not want horseradish sauce. Okay, so we're going to put the potatoes back in as they all fall out. Like I said, this is my first video. There we go. So we're back. We are outside. And the... Uh, Instant Pot is now up to, up to pressure and is now started cooking. It's going to cook for an hour and then we're going to do a 10 minute natural release and then a um, uh, quick release after that. Because I didn't have enough room in there for my carrots, I did them on the grill. I just sprayed them with a little avocado oil and just grilled them. And this is what they look like. So that's just going to add extra flavor, that charring. So we're at 12 minutes on the natural release. Longer is better because if you release it too soon, the meat can get rubbery. And with game meat like bison, that's a big no-no. Okay, so I'm going to do the I'm going to do the quick release now. Okay, so we've got it in the house, or in the trailer, and we're going to open it up. And we're taking the potatoes off. And we'll go right there with the carrots. Okay, next we're going to pull out the trivet with the roast. And boy, 
boy, let me tell you, this smells absolutely delicious. We'll let that sit for a little bit. And there's lots and lots of gravy in there. Like I said, I love gravy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken the gravy. And what I have here is my shaker bottle with three tablespoons of organic cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. And I've shaken it up. And I'm just waiting for the broth to come to temperature. And we're going to pour it in and stir. The broth is, is boiling now. So we can add our so we can add our cornstarch to thicken. And you want to stir it up really good. Oh, and that's coming out great. That looks so good. It pays to watch other YouTube cooking videos because I didn't know I always added too much water to my uh, cornstarch thickener, and this just thickened right up really, really nice. I'm really pleased with this. And we're going to turn the saute down to low, and we're going to add our carrots and potatoes now. Okay, and I'm going to shut this off now because I just got a hot signal, so that means the, the thickener is trying to burn onto the bottom. So we're going to shut it off, and then I'm going to cut up the meat and add the meat. And this is basically going to be like a stew. Okay, so here we have the finished product. It looks really good. And let's go ahead and dish some out. This is really, really tasty. The charred carrots added a really nice um, smoky flavor to it. So this is Jan. And... I've been cooking with um, bison from the Honest Bison, and they're out of Oregon or out of Washington, and uh, they carry other game meats also. And I think they're a pretty good company. I'm not. I have no paid affiliation with them, so this is just uh, me trying some bison because I'm always looking for better alternatives to um, feedlot meats. So thanks a lot for watching and give me a thumbs up and, and like and subscribe. Thank you.